welcome to Kapensky Summer Bay Hurgada Hotel. This is truly one of the best hotels we have ever stayed in. And in this video, we are going to be showing you everything you need to know, a bedroom walkthrough, views from the balcony, facilities this hotel provides like the gym and jacuzzi, their things to do in the hotel like the floating area, their breakfast and dinner options for half board, and also the breakfast on the boat option, which you have um, as an additional and the snorkeling as well now as soon as you enter summer bay you kind of realize that there's a lot of security it's a very new and developing area but with great security which is a positive so you pass through about two security checkpoints before you even reach uh, Kapensky hotel and um, like i said summer bay is a new and developing area it's actually out of hurgada from the airport it takes about 40 to 50 minutes roughly in a taxi but as you reach Kapensky hotel reception um, you are very firstly greeted with warm and happy smiles um, and the staff there then take your bags away um, and this is the reception area very clean and very massive um, and also comes with a great smell there's so many roses around the reception area so they really do look after um, their uh, public areas and yes so you are greeted with the hibiscus drink um, it's very yummy and healthy I've been told um, but yes this is the reception we are going to be taking you to our room we were supposed to stay in one of the basic rooms with no balcony on the bottom floor but the social media manager in the hotel kindly decided to upgrade us and give us a room with a balcony so we were staying in room 2305 and this is what the room looks like as soon as you enter ignore our luggage on the side um but yes you've got the bathroom right there the great Thing about this bathroom is you've got both a shower and a huge bathtub so you can really choose which one you want to have and normal hotels come with one option either a shower or a bathtub but yes you've got the sink area there you've got a safe that's a first I've never seen one in the bathroom but we didn't really mind two robes um, and this is the bedroom the standard Kapensky colors as you see in their other flagship hotels smart TV dresser which was great for getting ready in the morning and a beautiful balcony for great sunsets um, and also um, if you are a sunrise person like me um, then again a great place to wake up and spend your morning or evening. This hotel truly looks like a palace. It's not just the bedroom that's absolutely stunning, but the hotel itself, the grounds are just truly beautiful. As I said before, it does remind us of um, sort of palaces that we've seen in different holiday destinations. But yes, this is the 24 seven gym in this hotel and it comes include, it includes pretty much everything that you need. So it comes with different equipment and you can actually contact the hotel um, for personal gym assistance as well I believe they have some gym assistants um, so yes right opposite there you can see the jacuzzi and swimming pool this is a quieter swimming pool and jacuzzi area and um, they have multiple ones uh, the one I'm going to be showing you now is specifically only for ladies men also have um, one as well uh, but the other one that I showed opposite the gym was actually a 
shared one so this these ones are more private so for example if you just want to go to a jacuzzi with a woman only then this would be a great option comes with private um shower area um sort of private um sitting area as well again hibiscus juice tends to be very popular in this hotel and you've got uh, the jacuzzi over there which is only used by women um, and no one else and saying there's another one for gents again you literally feel like you're walking through a palace whenever you're walking around this hotel it's absolutely massive it takes roughly around i would say 15 minutes or 20 minutes from one end of the hotel to another um and we we, we are not moaning and we definitely um enjoyed that walk um it's just so many lovely green areas as well so you don't feel like you know you're actually in egypt because normally when you would when you think about about Egypt you think about the desert and the pyramids so it's really nice to see that this hotel incorporates a lot of greenery um, in the resort but yes this is the float where the floating area starts and you don't have to pay for floats they actually are always there you just go and grab one um, and this is also where they have other general swimming pools and the floating areas really surrounding around um, sort of around the swimming pools again these little huts you see are actually where you can get your towels from and water bottles you're allowed two mineral water bottles per day um, and this is the beach area which is right next to the other main swimming pools um, a massive a beach area as you can see and it's really split into two the right side is sort of couples only and the left side is family and um, it doesn't really make a difference but they did ask us when we first spent if we had a preference they also do dinner by the beach every saturday again we would definitely recommend that it's quite romantic and something different the sunsets from this hotel beach were absolutely stunning because you've got the um, backdrop of the mountains and then the sun literally goes right behind the mountains which is absolutely truly beautiful Are going to be showing you what dinner looks like at Kapensky Summer Bay. Um, so unlike other hotels, Kapensky actually here give you an option to either go bed and breakfast or either actually go half board, which includes both breakfast and dinner. We went for half board, so here we are showing you what dinner looked like for one of our nights. Um, this is the kids' area, kids' corner, easy for them to grab uh, food. Of course, they can have the food from the adult area as well but um, that's just for their comfort and um, here you've got a, a salad bar which tends to be quite standard um, in hotels and then you've got the um, seafood area as well which is a popular one popular option um, especially in Egypt um, and on that side over there you've got a huge um, dessert area with lots of both hot and a cold desserts a hot desserts tend to be quite popular in Egypt and in Egyptian food and um, so you'll notice a lot of hot desserts alongside the cold uh, standard cakes um, and other desserts that you get um, a lot of soup um, options as well again another popular option in Egypt they have a lot of soup
soups and rice is also um quite famous um it's sort of in it's in most egyptian uh, food um so yes you get a mixture of both western and also egyptian food options so really something for everyone which we really really liked we were also very impressed uh, by the quality of the food that was both cooked and presented um here um and uh, we are very happy to actually say that um we really really enjoyed um eating the food um and we actually were told that they take hygiene really seriously here at kapensky um you know because they want to ensure that the guests um eat good food and do not fall sick after eating it uh, we know egypt is often um sort of known um for not having such good a uh, food hygiene um but we are very happy to say like i say like i said before that kapensky do take hygiene very very seriously um and they have a lot of different types of foods um options um in their dinner buffet and um, we would recommend having at least one night of dinner buffet just because as i said before in summer bay it's outside of her garden so there's not really many other places you can go unless you go for the hotels um other restaurants um so yes um when talking about other restaurants this is one of the other restaurants this is not the buffet restaurant this is actually a lounge and um, they've got where they also serve food drinks and you get entertainment um so yes there are many other restaurants uh, but we went to the half board restaurant which is the same as where you get your breakfast in the morning Are going to be taking you on another adventure so today we are going to be taking you to breakfast on the boat so this is one of the special um sort of arrangements um you can make at kapensky they offer many different types of things like um add-ons like um breakfast on the beach um dinner on the beach um or private dining in other forms but this was quite a unique one we've not done it before breakfast on the boat and as it was my birthday and um, this was actually kindly arranged by my husband for me as a birthday present so this is what the food looked like great amount of spread um, we were very impressed and the food was really fresh and also hot um, so we were very very impressed with that we thought it would get cold by the time uh, we sort of reach wherever we were being taken so yes um, the driver actually took us um, to a really nice um, sort of area um, I forgot on the name i think he called it seven sisters um where there's sort of seven coral um areas seven corals um and you can snorkel there as well so yes a breakfast on the boat is two hours and it costs around 140 pounds um and this is the seven coral seven sisters um i believe um area where you can also snorkel so you can eat your breakfast and then you also um can go and have a snorkel this is what snorkeling looks like um, when you have breakfast on the boat or if you just want to snorkel on the Seven Sisters place where they've got seven different corals. Um, this is probably one of the best visibilities we've seen and the most fish in one area. So we would really, really recommend it even if you don't want to do breakfast on the boat as you know we did it for a special occasion as well. You could um, always organize just snorkeling here. Uh, we saw um, a lot of other um, sort of um, scuba dive that come um, after just as we were leaving um, so you can also do scuba diving here as well um, but yes uh, breakfast on the boat was um definitely a great experience uh, for two hours you get to have breakfast in privacy um you know whether it be a special occasion or just something that you enjoy doing um and yes you are then um taken to the seven sisters place um and you can actually have a snorkel um on this area um and yes so we really really enjoyed this experience we got to spend some quality two hours um out and our um sort of boat driver was also really really nice and really really friendly um so um 
that was a great time we had we got to hear some great stories uh, from him uh, like for example when he um, snorkeled with a whale um, so yes we didn't unfortunately get to finish the breakfast um, so there was a very very huge spread um, and definitely worth the money um, so yes that is breakfast on the boat now we are going to be showing you breakfast in the hotel itself um, which is something you can get if you either have if you have bed and breakfast um, or pay separately for breakfast after checking so again you notice um, there's lots of different options you've got the cold areas you normally have with yogurts fruits and um, you've got lots of different um, types of fruits here um, and you've got a cereal um, corner um, so your um, normal cereals waffles pancakes and crepes corner which was one of my favorites so they make fresh pancakes and crepes for you truly one of the best pancakes I have had um, and also an egg corner where um, they nicely created some great eggs um, for your omelette scrambled eggs um, and poached eggs and so on this is um, where you have your breakfast and uh, yes so we really enjoyed the breakfast in the hotel now we are going to be showing you other facilities and um, so they do have a uh, tennis tennis courts um, you do have to pay for the tennis rackets however if you like tennis and you're watching this video before going then ensure to take your rackets with you if you take yours you obviously don't have to pay for some um, in the hotel so do remember to take them if you enjoy tennis this is the baby's uh, pool area they actually train babies um, for swimming here which is again great and this is the floating area we showed you from the top earlier on and um, this is us literally on a float um, having the best time of our life we really really um, really enjoyed this area last time uh, we experienced something like this was back in Dubai at um, Atlantis um, if any of you watching um, have been there so this is quite similar but of course on a smaller scale uh, but still really really nice um, we could literally could spend our entire day here and um, so overall we were just so so happy with this hotel it really has so much to offer literally something for everyone um, and we hope uh, you get to experience this too um, so if you did enjoy watching this video do remember to like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram to get regular updates and join us on our adventures